Werner. I go by the tactical professor. I write a blog. Um, I don't publish as much as John Correa, but <laughs> usually about once a week, uh, and it's tacticalprofessor.com. Um, a couple things I'd like to say before I talk about my upcoming course. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for getting up to the third level of mental preparation about your personal protection. Um, the first level is that people are willing to do something about their personal protection, learning something about it. As long as the course is free, it's short, they don't have to go too far to go to it, and they're not going to be clipping their toenails that night. Brian, am I right? Yeah. So, but, they, but given those conditions, they're willing to learn something about self-defense, as opposed to just being in denial that it's ever going to happen to them, or, you know, or anybody at all. Um, then the second one, I'm sorry, that, that's the second one. It's, so they're not really willing to commit any personal resources to their personal protection. You transition to the third part of it, which is you're willing to commit some resources to the problem. You know, you've spent some money to be here, you've invested four hours of time uh, on a Saturday. So, you know, that's a really good start. And once again, being a quant, um, this is the way I think about things. How many of you ever heard of the Pareto Principle? Sometimes it's called the 80-20 rule. Okay, uh, real quickly, Pareto was an Italian economist in the 19th century, and he observed that 80% of the property in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. Uh, we've come to find that that's a very broadly applicable number to uh, human nature. Now, my experience has been, at least in this field, it's more like 85, 15, you know, but the number is not important, it's the concept. So, when you get past the, when you start going up the levels, it's what I call Pareto orders. So you have 15% of 15% of 15%. Well, you have gotten to the point now where you are at <laughs> 0.0506% of the population. In other words, in the United States, in the United States, there are probably only about 127,000 people out of the 250 million adults that are willing to do what you did today. So, I want everybody to take your right hand, hold it up. <laughs> Reach across your left shoulder and give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it. All right, now let's talk about the next level, which is you're willing to commit some time, some money, and some effort. And that's another big step. That's actually another Pareto order. You know, statistically speaking, only 15% of the people who have done what you have done today. You know, there are programs like this, the NRAs refuse to be a victim and so forth. It's kind of a similar concept. Only 15% of those people will go on to do anything that requires any effort. In other words, coming to something like a complete combatant or actually going to a firearms training class or something of that nature. So that's the fourth quarter. Uh, I just I want you to think about that. Um, and Shelly, could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you get that stick that's in my